Welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me video, kind of. I have never seen myself doing any kind of video like this, but I get requests and questions on a day-to-day -day basis on like what products I use and how I do my makeup and how I do my hair and like my self-tan routine. So I'm just gonna give you guys like the products that I use and then we're gonna do a quick get ready with me so you guys can see how I do my makeup. I definitely don't know much about makeup. I know everybody says like, I'm not a beauty girl, like don't come at me. But it's true, like, I'm definitely not a beauty guru. I definitely don't know exactly what I'm doing. So we're just gonna get right into it and hope for the best. And hopefully I don't get criticized in the comments. I'm just gonna pull my hair back. I actually may just keep it in a braid today. Um, I'm gonna share with you guys a few of the products that I use as far as like my skin and then um, for my face and then the tanner that I use as well. Comment down below if you guys want to know a whole like self tan routine and what I do to get tan skin because I am naturally probably the palest person on earth. Like I'm as pale as you get like before your albino, honestly. If I did not have freckles on my arms and on my face, like I would be practically albino. And that's one of the things that I'm extremely self-conscious about. So I self tan and I've been self tanning for about four to five years now. I've been doing it and there's a lot of things that I've learned, a lot of mistakes that I've made. So yeah, I think I may just like leave my hair in a braid today and just do my makeup and move on with the day because you know, your girl does not have time to sit here and do her hair maybe on a later date. So for my hair, I use this argan oil and I use it on Ella's hair too and Ben's hair sometimes. I love this stuff. I've gone through like seven bottles of this and it makes my hair really soft and shiny. Down at the bottoms, I only spray it on the bottoms of my hair. For Ella, she has really frizzy hair on the back of her hair because that's where she lays down and sleeps so it gets really frizzy and matted sometimes. So I spray that like mainly on the back of her hair and then a little bit on the top and it really like smooths it out. So I really, really love that stuff for her hair. And then for my skin, like my face and my skin, I wash my body and wash my face with baby soap. I didn't do this for the longest time and right before mine and Ben's wedding, I went and got a spray tan and the lady goes, you need to wash your body with baby wash because it has like less chemicals in it um, and that'll help your tan stay longer. And I'm like, oh, I literally never thought about that. So I wash my face and my skin with baby soap, but I also use it as a makeup remover. So I don't use any oil or any like makeup wipes on my face. I just use baby soap. I just wash my face every morning and night with baby soap. And then I just put on normal lotion. <laughs> Nothing too expensive. I use all like drugstore products. This is just the Jergens like hydrating coconut I love the coconut smell on any type of lotion. So I always get coconut and then for self tan I use the Jergens insta sun deep bronze Sunless tanning mousse and I'm like out of it. There's like nothing in here And then I also have a Tarte mitt I got a self tanning not mousse but like a lotion from Tarte and I didn't like it But I kept the mitt because the mitt is is what makes the difference when it comes to this stuff. I used to try gloves, like latex gloves. I've done my hands. Get a tanning mitt and it will change your life. So don't apply self-tan any other way. That is just a sum up of the products that I really use on a day-to-day -day basis besides the um, self-tan I use at like once or twice a week. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get into the video. For foundation, I use the Infallible Pro Glow L'Oreal Paris foundation. And I usually have three shades of this. I have the 201, 202, and 203. And I use the 203, the darkest one out of all of them, the first like two days that I'm tan. Then I use the 202 for the rest of the days. And then I use a 201 if I am not tanned at all and I just have like my pale skin on. Today I'm going to be using the 203 because I tanned yesterday.
this is the with the foundation on as you can see it's very glowy um, since it is the pro glow one instead of the matte one I really don't like the one that is matte I feel like it dries on my face so much I just put powder over my foundation which makes it matte instead of having like matte foundation and then powder it just was not a good mix for my skin so I use a pro glow that has a lot more moisture in it because we are in Colorado and it's so freaking dry here. I have this Maybelline New York Fit Me powder and I just put this on my cheekbones, well under my cheekbones and like all around my face. I used to not wear blush, but I feel like it really gives your face some color. So I use the Pixi Glowy Powder. It has like highlight in it too. So it like makes your cheeks really shine. And I don't put much on there. This part is the part where I get the most questions about, which is my eyebrows. I always look real dumb after I put my eyebrows on because I don't have any makeup on my eyes just yet. So bear with me. I use the Anastasia dip brow pomade in the shade auburn and these shades when you go into like sephora or something to look for your shade they look completely different in the little glass jar than they do actually on your face so i would highly recommend trying them out before buying anything the closest to my shade because i do have red hair but if you're like blonde or brunette i would definitely just like test them out i already started okay so what i do for my eyebrows is i just dip the brush that comes with it into a little bit of the product a little bit goes a long way with this product so i normally line the top of my eyebrows first and then i fill in the back side of my eyebrows next and i always did more in because i feel like i would i just would rather get more product than have too much so now it looks really weird the top is lined and the back half is filled in so then after this i go and i line the bottom right here and then i fill in a little bit more when i get to like the beginning of my eyebrow right here i take the brush and at this point it shouldn't have much product on it and i just push the brush up so here's the part where i don't know what i'm doing i have two eyeshadow palettes one is a morphe palette and has like lots of brown colors in it and then i have this like maybelline new york palette and i basically just use like the white color from the maybelline palette and then i use the brown from the morphe palette and if i'm feeling real risky i use like an orangey color from the morphe palette but normally i just stick to a brown like i'm very basic i don't experiment much with my makeup i feel like when you have red hair experimenting like it doesn't look as good or at least it doesn't look very good on me i don't think now i'm going to use one color brown this is all i do for my eyeshadow and now i look like a freaking raccoon because i have no eyelashes and the last step is well second to last step kind of i curl my eyelashes and I use this mascara. It is L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. It has a very fine brush. It's like super, super thin, as you can see. And I feel like it makes your eyelashes really, really long. I used to use two mascaras so that one would make them long and one would make them like super thick. This is the only mascara that I really swear by and I will always buy this mascara. Then I do my bottom lashes after my top ones. And I do this like very lightly because too much makeup on the bottom makes your eyes just look real dark and bad. I'm going to take the camera to the more natural light so you guys can like really get a feel of my makeup. So yeah, this is what my makeup 
looks like on a day-to-day -day basis. It's semi-natural. I probably use a lot more foundation than I need for a day-to-day -day basis, but yeah, that's really what I do, and it's really fast and really simple. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and it helped you out a little bit with when you're curious about how I do my makeup. I definitely want to know if you guys want to see like me curling or straightening my hair or my self tanner routine if you guys want to know about that. So definitely let me know what you guys want to see when it comes to me getting ready and how I take care of my skin and my hair. So yeah, if you guys liked today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave and we will see you in our next video. Bye guys. You said my